All right, so let's move on to density and pressure. You've probably seen density before. Density is just the mass per unit volume, uh, m over v, where m is the mass of the object, or the mass of the material, and v is its volume. The SI unit for this, of course, is going to be kilograms per cubic meter, but sometimes you'll also see it in uh, uh, grams per cubic centimeter, which is a common a common uh, unit for density. In fact, the density of water is often expressed in this way. The density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. And if you recall back when we talked about SI units, the reason that the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter is because we defined a gram based on that. You recall it used to be that a gram was the mass of one cubic centimeter of water. Now that's not true anymore. Now the, the kilogram is based on this cylinder in France. But Anyway, this, this is why the density of water is as such, it's because it was defined to be as such. A gram is defined by this. Now, in, kilogram, in the SI system, it's going to be 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So the density of water is actually quite high. Um, in fact, I have this video I want to show you where they fill up a room with water to see how much water uh, will be required to collapse the floor of the room. So let's, let's watch this. So as I said, water is pretty heavy. It has a fairly high density. And if you've ever filled up a swimming pool, you know it's very difficult to spit over one of those little kids' pools. So how much, what was the mass? Well, we can, you know, just sort of estimate how much water was in this room. You know, just sort of given our rough estimate of cubic meters, uh, I think there were probably about, oh, maybe it was about one meter deep when it went down. And let's say this room was, I don't know, 50 square feet. So we were looking at 50 cubic meters of water here, roughly. Uh, that might be a little bit of an overestimate, but not terribly so. And then we can multiply this times our density, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. See, notice that our units cancel out here and just leave us kilograms. So that's 50,000 kilograms. Yeah, so that's... Uh, if you take a person to be 100, then that's going to be about 500 people in that room that would cause the, the floor to collapse. So quite a bit of a mass in the room to cause the, the floor to collapse. Here's our uh, densities of some common substances. All these tables, by the way, will be on the equation sheet, and they'll be available to you for the next quiz. And here's the density of water. Um, Notice that the density of ice is less than the density of water. That's a, a convenient thing because uh, if, as with many solids, the density of the solid is greater than the density of the liquid. Because usually when things freeze or when they solidify, they actually get smaller. And so you're packing more material into less volume, which gives you a higher density. But that's not true with water. When it freezes, it actually expands. Uh, causing for a lower density. And so when you have liquid water and then you have ice within it, the ice actually floats because it's less dense. If that weren't the case, if ice was more dense, then uh, in the oceans and in natural bodies of water, you would get this layer of ice, and then that layer of ice would sink to the bottom until the whole body of water would be frozen. So if this weren't true, if our planet, or if uh, if it weren't true that water was less dense, ice was less dense than water, then we would live on a, on a frozen planet. All the oceans would be frozen, all the bodies of water would be frozen, and well, we probably wouldn't exist. Uh, so it's sort of an interesting thing. There's a video here about why does ice float. I'll leave that for you to look at on your own. Uh, specific gravity is just the ratio of the density of an object to the density of water. So for example, the, since the density of aluminum is 2700, the specific gravity of aluminum is going to be 2700 divided by 1000. Both That's the density of water, kilograms per cubic meter, kilograms per cubic meter. And then that gives the specific gravity, uh, which is 2.7. It's just a way of, of uh, showing the density with uh, a number relative to water. Try this quick test about the density. 